just finished 48 hours of work. I just wanted to get some stuff into the next 48 hours. There's no fruit, there's no vegetables. I just don't know how I'm supposed to stay healthy. And there's people, and people are just tricking the shelves with basic food. What's cool, what's cool, we was happening? A lot. Oh gosh, okay. I still have these in. We're gonna talk about a lot. I still have these in. I slept with them. I didn't even feel that I was sleeping with them. And I was almost gonna sleep with them again, but then I was like, nah. Let me remove them right about now. They're totally cooked, baked, and done. And let me do this whilst I talk about what the heck is going on in the world right now. Oh, look. They look cute. Anywho, they say stop hoarding. But also, where's the stock that we were promised? This is what I want to know. So now the situation is becoming dire. In certain countries like the UK, like images we, used, we saw in Italy a few weeks ago, people are queuing outside, parking lots are going crazy because everybody's outside the Tesco or whatever supermarket trying to get, trying to get, you know, food. And in other parts of Europe, like, and even in America, we've seen things, people fighting over, fighting over Luro. Okay, in Europe, that didn't really happen. That happened in America. Fighting over Luro, like physically fighting over Luro. And yeah, where I am, Luro isn't even, like it hasn't even been restocked yet. So it's actually, it's actually, actually wild. And people have promised, prime ministers and that, have promised, the government has promised that there is talk that we have to stop hoarding and we've had pleas from nurses just we've had people just crying their eyes out because they are so sad that they go to the shops and there's nothing left um but yeah we're being reassured still that oh there's enough stock in fact the prime minister of the netherlands went into a supermarket to kind of show his appreciation for all the people filling in uh, all the cashiers and the people you know um, stocking up and that and he went to show his appreciation and one woman said to the Prime Minister this is so funny said you got enough Luro and he was like I got enough Luro and in fact the whole country's got enough Luro we've got so much Luro that is enough for all of us to poo for the next 10 years these are his words not mine as he was actually mentioning how much stuff we have this was really funny i don't know how shady the cameraman was or what but they it almost seemed like they strategically placed him in front of like empty shelves <laughs> as he was saying there is enough stock look around you and like the only stock that was there was like way in the back but yeah and somebody in the comments actually said this is a they they specifically went to a store where it's like nicely stocked up that is not what the rest of the country looks like and yeah, there's certain things that are just not there. Pasta, rice, luro, bleach. Um, I've seen um, freezer bags because everybody's trying to, you know, freeze stuff. So that's all gone. Um, Paracetamol you have to get at the counters and some places it's gone. This hand gel sometimes does pop up here and there. And then it's like you have to get it within hours. And the price has increased by about... 300 percent so it's 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 really it's really interesting but it would have been good if it's literally been about three weeks since the whole frenzy began and over at you know this side of europe uk netherlands and that people were buying luro like there was no tomorrow and they were just buying luro 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 and the luro is still finished and it, i just I'm wondering whether I, whenever I go to the shop, which is only like twice a week, whether it's like, okay, the Luro was there maybe in the morning and I just missed it or what. I don't really, I don't really know. I don't really know, but I'm just wondering where this stock is at. It, it just makes me even just 
just question like this whole distribution thing how does it work is it efficient like obviously we're so interconnected not everything will come from the country you live in some of the stuff has to come from somewhere else and just like so how does all of this work i don't know i mean we were promised something ages ago and we're still here waiting and now there's a problem because the online shopping it is not working anytime you go on any of these websites they'll tell you that you cannot place an order because they're, they're fully booked this the, the slots are all fully booked now I'm starting to realize something all these supermarkets and distribution centers and all these logistics people everybody is working really hard to feed their nation okay let's not forget about that I'm not trying to knock any of these people they're working extremely hard but look the slots are not even available right now and that is not because of what they're doing it's actually more because of what we are doing I think that's the actual problem I'm now starting to realize that even if they had enough luro in every supermarket to stack it up to the heavens we would walk into the supermarket planning to buy eggs see the luro and be like oh my goodness did you see that luro and just start buying kilos and kilos and bulk and bulk of luro for no apparent reason and that's actually the problem they're listening and they're responding to this COVID-19 as best as they can. So what they're doing in Sainsbury's in the UK is that from Monday the 23rd, they're opening reduced hours. Um, so some of these shops which used to be 24-7, but they're not going to do that because obviously the staff need time to, first of all, gather themselves. And then they need time to also clean the shops, which is very important. And then every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, in all their supermarkets, they'll dedicate one hour um the first hour of their opening to the elderly customers and disabled customers and the carers then the nhs and social care workers will be able to shop in the supermarkets for half an hour before shops even open and yeah they have prioritized even online delivery so not only in the supermarkets but also online prioritized slots for the elderly disabled and vulnerable customers and they're also adding more click and collect locations so you'll be able to click as in order your stuff online but collect them from various different places and they're putting some limitations on certain products um, so that they will not go out of stock and then they're closing um, their cafes and counters to ensure that that staff can be used inside the shop to do some essential work so yeah wow they're doing such an amazing job everybody really is it's good to see all these big, big supermarkets are gonna hire 100,000, 20,000 workers for their distribution cent centers or or to s fill the stock in, in the supermarkets and that. But the thing about it is, I've just listened to the two press conferences from two different countries and they're saying stay indoors, only go out for like a walk or maybe only go out for a walk once a day. And so you're gonna be the one to monitor that and you have to have the sense in the world with all to not just keep going out, keep going out, keep going out because there will come a time that they will have soldiers and police people, you know, patrolling the streets and yeah you won't just be able to do any kind of nonsense but anywho um that's what they said um lost my train of thought oh what was i saying yeah so they're, they're getting so many people to work in these type of places but actually now what we also really need is for people to yes to be at the distribution centers because that's ultimately like where this stock is all coming from um but we need people to be able to we need all these truck drivers we need all these delivery people so that actually things can be delivered to people's houses because how are you going to tell people to stay home preferably only to go out for like a run or a walk or a cycle or for fresh air once a day or something like that and to only go out for essentials which is medical supplies or food and then you know people would actually rather avoid it altogether and just stay home all the time if they're not working in a vital profession so people would rather have that i'm sure but now with these with these um supermarkets not being able to deliver for like the next few months that's a big problem and they do not talk about it that is one problem the food thing then you know the social distancing thing is another huge problem that's actually because people were not adhering to the social distancing thing the measures had to be tightened even more because people were just not listening to it just this weekend people were on beaches in, in countries where it's like two degrees three degrees it was actually cold the sun was out but it was actually cold people were out in the beaches in their numbers like if i had the idea if i had the bright idea to go to the beach and i arrived there like even if i wanted to go really really early and i arrived there and it's like 
like super full and it looks like a summer's day and people are just out there with their you know uh with their you know uh, like bare chested and everything trying to sunbathe and that and i saw that people were just acting like this is a normal summer's day i would be like i am getting the heck out of here i am not gonna stay here there's too many people the one and a half meter distance and in some countries like in the uk it is two meters it's not being adhered to so i am out of here but people did not think that they just joined the club and were married i just do not understand that i i, I just don't know i don't know yeah so anyway the measures are have been tightened and yet there was no mention of what they're gonna do to ensure that we stay we stay in the house i don't know what's happening with this one there's nothing nothing has been said about what what they're gonna do to make sure that we stay in the house to make sure we stay in the house there's certain things that need to be able to be delivered if everybody was just staying in the house and everything was was deliverable like there was no issue with the distribution of stuff there are not people that are able to deliver see you have to think about it like this is not everybody who can drive a truck as well so you need you need actually you need like if you're talking about people who fill up the stock like anybody and everybody could do that but with the, the delivery you need people that can actually drive and maneuver their way through streets with these huge vans and be able to also have the manpower to then uh you know deliver them carry them deliver them and all that good stuff so yeah it's not easy and it, it lets you see that there's not enough of certain people in certain professions in this world in general we don't have enough doctors we don't have enough nurses we don't have enough anything and it is i'm gonna say this so many people looking for jobs or were looking for jobs and now you see that you know we we needed more people we need more qualified people to do so many things and i hope that the next time there's a press conference or the next time that the, the prime minister or whoever speaks to the country or what yeah i hope that they just have more information about some of these things about ordering food about how to really ensure that you do not leave the house because quite frankly we we shouldn't have to we don't need to but now we've got to because they they are not they are not delivering food they are not delivering anything so i just want to know what's happening with the stock and what's happening with the pp that's a whole other video but yeah what's happening with all this what's happening with the supply what's happening with the supply chain like we need to know these things we as citizens need to know we have the right to know as they are finding out they should inform us because we need to know people are desperate to know more about what is going on right now in any case stay safe stay sterile make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right and i'll see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.